All right, folks, let's talk about dry brushing. That's pretty much what we're going to talk about, obviously. Um, so I've got some products on, on the table. I've got three uh, Citadel dry brush dryers, and I've got three normal paints in the same colours. So dry brushing is a technique I use quite a lot, and it's a technique I used to do on all of my Gaslands cars constantly. That was the only technique I'd do. Normally black with a dry brush or like a really rusted out look. Um, so we're going to talk about the dry brush spe spe specific, I can't even say specific, the dry brush specific paints. I'm going to talk about um, standard paints for dry brushing. You can use any paint for dry brushing. There's a caveat to that though. You can use any paint for dry brushing as long as you know what you're doing. And I'll explain why in a second. The dry brush paint itself it has a slightly different consistency it's a lot thicker than normal paint and there's a reason behind that obviously it makes it work same for dry brushing you can use any brush you can use a specific neither of these are a specific dry brush believe it or not that's a Dela and Marini shade brush and that is a Monte Mont Marte flat brush I think these come in a pack of 10 brushes for like eight quid on Amazon. Baylor and Melanie are fine. I've also got a Citadel dry brush. Um, I've got a different brand of a Monty Martin flat shader. I've got a, another Army Painter dry brush. And then I've got this thing. Makeup brush. It isn't an actual makeup brush, but it might as well be. It's basically the same thing. It's another Dale and Rani overwash brush. Um, and then I've even got this thing. Ooh, which Emma, my partner's used for glue. So it's it's fucked. Let's put it in the bin. Goodbye. Um, yeah, so any of these brushes are fine. They, they, they work in different ways almost. Something like this big oval brush. A makeup style brush. You'll get... If you use the technique right, you get a, 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 a big area with, with less swirls. Something like this very, very small dry brush. You'll get lots of lots of marks very, very close together, if that makes sense. And then this big one here. As you can see, most of my dry brushes are in haggard state. We're going to really just for this use these two. I'm just starting off with also, I keep on doing that because there's nothing worse than getting a bristle. Especially on a quite a cheap brush, they can come off a bristle stuck inside what you're doing. I've got three cars here that I made today. I've got this Volvo. I believe it's a Volvo. Hang on a second. That's a Saab. Sorry, Saab Sonnet. I've stuck a gun from a rip saw on the back and Dyson County Games blur on the front. And I've got this thing, Attitude, I think it's called. Just stuck some guns on it. And I've got this Kappa Eraser. We have some dice paint against rocket pods on it. Common theme, they're all black. They're all painted black, matte black primer. Or, or spray, it's not a primer. Um, mucked about with a file over the surface of them all just to give them a bit of keying so they can tooth. And that's it. What we're going to do, the attitude we'll keep as our, as our, as our common ground. This one, the Saab, we'll do with dry brush paints. Dry brush specific paints. The Kaffir Racer would we'll do with the standard paints. And we'll talk through it as we go. This might be a little bit longer than normal video, if I'm honest. We'll see. So why have I chosen three colours? I've got a grey. This is a, almost a purpley sort of grey. I've got a silver and I've got an orange. Well, obviously orange is rust. It's easy enough. Silver is scratches and marks. And I like to use a grey... Uh, just to just to even it all out, if that makes sense. Now, the order I do them is up it is the order I I tend to use. So I normally go silver, orange, grey. Nine times out of ten. Sometimes I might just go pure orange, depending on how I'm going to do it. So let's quickly talk through what makes a dry brush. But this is this is nearly empty. I'm nearly out here. We we'll use the we we'll use the orange as an example. If you can hear manacle laughter in the background, it's my daughter. It's her bath time and she's going berserk. You can see 
the, the dry brush paint has almost got, just get that into focus, it's got tension to it. It's almost like the thickest paint you can possibly think. It's got, it's got, it's got very little liquid to it. As you can see, so I've loaded some of my brush, and when you, when you wipe with it, doesn't really smear. Whereas with a normal paint, which is quite liquid, you'd be able to smear that all over the place. So with the orange, let me just get a bit of the orange. Up. What you're looking for is to load your brush up with paint. You can see the colour all about the bristles there, and then wipe a majority of it off. How much you wipe off depends on how much will then be transferred to the car. Now, for example, being I've wiped off a hell of a lot, but we've still got. So let me move this light. Can you see that better? We can see that better. I've got double boom lights at the moment. I'm trying to experiment on where they go. And how they light stuff. They're very, very cheap. If you want to know, if you want some clip-on lights, uh, LED that are, that are adjustable, I'll stick a link in the description below if I remember. If not, drop me a message and I'll, I'll send you a link for them because they're actually pretty good for the money. Um, yeah, you can see what we've deposited there is some orange rust. It's fairly hard to rub off. Now, if I wanted to do just, just a Go on the black, just a rusty style effect on the mesh on the body panels. The, the good thing about Gaslands is, is unlike so like a you're doing like a Warhammer army or anything like that, you want your car to look haggard. So your dry brushing technique doesn't have to be like precise as hell. You can see I'm just hammering with this brush. Run out of paint there. Let's go again. a bit too much on there you can see it's quite a waste what you can do though is when you start running out go back to it give it a twist around there we go so that's just the orange my silver's dry I not cleaned the brush, don't really want to clean the brush. My silver is really dried out. Let's lift the lid off a little bit. You can get some out of there. Not to use a vast amount anyway. And I've got a bit of silver there. Always cheat as well as I like to sometimes. I painted that now. I painted that engine in, in silver. Let's paint the gun in silver. Not dry brush the gun in silver. Rear gun on this. Plan to be ahead of the curve. Couple of scratches here and there. A few marks. Silver. Now the grey. Like I say, in this case, it's a purpley sort of grey. But it's slanish grey. So it's quite a dark grey. Now I've been going up and down. Really, what you, the only way you want to go dry brushing is down. Now with the grey, I'm going to go across the grain. Front to back. Now you can see what I've done there with the grey. And this is why the orange is always the last colour, not the first colour, is I've, for me, is I've wiped out most of the other colours. I can keep on going, or get the orange back in there. Oh, we got 10 minutes. Trying to get this video fairly short and informative. Let's get some more orange on places. Bit on the gun, a bit around the back, a bit on the front, got a bit of hand with the orange, but you get what I'm saying. So, draw the rest of the whole car. What you can do, and this is why normal paint works as well. So, say I've got a bit too over the top. 
the black on there. Put some black on my brush. And this is why you can use normal paint for dry brushing. Done the same technique. Mine, I need two cars for this, folks. I better do this with just one car. Let me get my point across. All right, need a little bit more black. All I'm doing is rubbing it back on again. No magic there. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a bit, a bit more black. A little bit too much black there. Take it the opposite direction. This side here is fairly orange. Let's lose some of that. As you can see, knocked it back down again. Right, fresh side, fresh brush. Set the cap eraser over. Let's go this grey first. So this is a quite a, a, a stiffer brush. Bristles really, really scrumming away there. One was a good scrumming. Got some grey on. Same spot, same place. Bit of silver. Doesn't matter who makes the silver. It really doesn't. Ooh, managed to get some actual silver on there. See what I was saying about the bristles coming off? As long as you're aware that's going to happen. Silver. And some orange. I just need a shake because I'm really nearly out of orange. And an orange. A bit more orange of course we do we love a rusty wreck make the whole thing blooming orange okay that's easy enough come back with a little bit of black then rather than straight scraped it along but you get what I'm saying there we go no special techniques really no special products really sorry I wasn't even I was like, yeah. I've even got a mark on the table I'm meant to keep in the middle of and I always forget about it Whee! there we go Two cars ready for the wasteland. Obviously, I'll do some more details, a few more details, and a few more bits. But you get what I'm doing at. And there's our control in the middle. So, whether you use dry brush specific paints, and I mean, there's other brands that do them as well, not just Games Workshop or Citadel, or you use standard normal paints. And these are all different manufacturers. I've got some Citadel re bottled into a dropper bottle. I've got some army paint on, I've got some green stuff, wild paints. It really doesn't matter. I've used a fairly affordable brush and a dirt cheap brush. The, the style of brush is, is the key, is the is the flat, the flat, the flat tip. That's really the only key key feature. You can use you can dry brush over a normal brush, but I prefer to use a, a, a flat tip brush. Like I said, I've got lots of different sizes, shapes, colours, etc. Uh, that's it. It's a nice quick short video. Uh, just wanted to talk about dry brushing because I see people asking about how to get a, an effect on their car, how to get an effect on what they're doing. As you can see as well, it's not coming off. Um, yeah, 
So I thought I'd quickly bang out a quick video just to show everyone. Also as well, the last five videos, none of them have been Gaslands. They've all been either RC cars or I've done a Warhammer video, believe it or not. Uh, that was the last video that went, uh, video went out yesterday. Uh, it snowed today, so I did a snowy video, RC car one. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing more Gaslands videos, back to Gaslands videos from now on, uh, amongst the others. I've got many interests, so you'll see many different videos. All right then, folks. Thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe.